Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is to answer a few questions that as best as we can because there's a lot of unknowns. So we talked about Windows 11 24H2 that will be now the big major update. They'll be pretty much giving all the what we thought were new features for Windows 12 and Windows 11 24H2 instead. Um, and of course, before that, uh, we will have moment five. So here are answers to all the questions I've got uh, through the comments. First one, is there a 24H1? No, there isn't. Uh, there isn't anymore a big update on the first half like there used to be that they would have two big updates a year. It's now one update a year. Uh, the exception to that is that there will be something called moment five. Moment 5 is a small update that will be arriving somewhere in March that will give us a few new features within Windows 11. But gone are the moments. There won't be any other, other moments after that. Like we had last year, we had you know uh, three moments last year. Um, these, these are now things of the past. Uh, it's one big update a year with new features. Now, we think that Windows 12 isn't a thing for 2024 anymore, so Windows 11 24H2 is where it's all going to be. And the question that comes with this is, will my PC, you know, I'm on 23H2, will my, be, my PC be able to go to 24H2? Uh, I think it will. I think there will be no problem there when you click for the Windows updates and check for updates when that happens. Uh, you will probably be able to move on but i wouldn't be surprised that they will simply add a couple of changes to the minimum requirements depending on what you do so if you have a pc that will want to use you know the more advanced copilot and ai and you know have a neural processor maybe um, I think that's where the requirements for 16 gigabytes of RAM will be something that will be needed. You will also probably need for the advanced AI features a NPU, a neural processing unit, in the PC. But I doubt these will be minimum requirements that have to be met for 24H2. I don't think that's going to happen. I think what it's going to be is the recommended feed, you know, um, minimum requirement for these features will be that and you'll have Windows 11 24H2 without some of those new features uh, if you have a standard PC and that's it and I think you'll still be able to continue working with Windows 11 on 24H2 even uh, with your 23H2 PC right now. The other question I got is well does that mean it's you know beginning to look like the end of unsupported machines moving forward. Um, I don't think that also will be a change. I think that 24H2 will still be working on unsupported PCs. You'll still be able to install it with the good tricks that we have today, um, like we're using Rufus, for example. And uh, so that I don't think that will change at all. Uh, once again, the only way that you'll get 24H2 if you're on a unsupported PC will be to clean install or reinstall Windows as it will not show up in Windows updates because you don't meet technically the minimum requirements. So they don't send that through Windows updates. Uh, just like 23H2, you had to reinstall if you wanted to have 23H2 um, upgrade from 22H2. So that's pretty much what we know, um, and I don't think there's going to be that much change, like I said, in the minimum requirements. Um, if, if there would be something like that, it would probably come with what would come next, like Windows 12, for example. So that's what I have for now for the questions. Hope that uh, it answers your question for Windows 11 24H2 coming later this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.